I'm hey, sorry. you know what? Get the hell out of here if you don't like this kind of uh, preaching. What? Then get the hell out of my church. I'm the man of God here. I meet the qualifications. I run this church. You know, I don't believe in a young earth. And then the big dumb animal, Keith Gomez, just sits there and listens to him preach this. Alright, this here is kind of funny, and it just gives you an idea of how much of a stinking cult Stephen Anderson's little new IFB is. Uh, this is one of his little underlings, Matthew Stuckey is the guy's name, and he's actually likening the new IFB to Israel uh, being persecuted by the Egyptians because the, you know, the basic traditional Baptists kick out new IFB members for being troublemakers, and he's like basically bemoaning that and likening the new IFB cult to, to, to the Israelites. It, it's so funny. Just check this out. He doesn't know that the children of Israel were really helpful to the Egyptians. Because when you think about it, the, the children of Israel coming to Egypt greatly helped that land. You know, immigration actually helps build a land. And they help the Egyptians out. But this new king rises up, and he's afraid of who the children of Israel are. Now, when I was reading this chapter a long time ago, I couldn't help but think about the parallels that we have between the old Egyptian IFB and then the new IF, Israelite IFB we have. And the name of this sermon is The Persecution from the Old IFB. The Persecution from the Old IFB. You see, this new pharaoh basically symbolizes your typical Baptist pastor and your typical IFB church. And basically, the children of Israel, they symbolize members that are in those churches that are just trying to faithfully serve those pastors, just trying to faithfully get people saved, bring people to church, and their pastors often persecute them, and they don't even want them in their church. Many people at our church have gone through that. Many people at our church were just faithfully safe, serving their churches, being respectful to their pastors, doing everything not to cause any problems, bringing visitors to church, going soul winning, and those pastors didn't even want them at their church. And we're going to see the symbolism that we see here in Exodus chapter 1. Now, if you thought that was really hilarious, this next one, he's going on just a little tirade about how the so-called old IFB, which is basically a name for traditional Baptists, is quote-unquote afraid of the new IFB, and that's why they keep kicking out the Andersonites. This is just really funny. As a former new IFB member, you know, from the outside looking back in, yeah, these guys are a cult. No wonder people say they're a cult, because they are. They think they're the only ones who are right, and just check out this persecution complex of the Stephen Anderson new IFB cult. Just get a load of this. But, you know, t hearing back the stories from him and the assistant pastor who I'm friends with, they were afraid when we showed up. And they were like, uh-oh, not this, you know, group of young guys, and they could turn our church upside down. It could be completely different. You know, now the assistant pastor, you know, he's just like one of us. So, you know, he got converted to our side. But, you know, when we first showed up, you know, they were worried about it because, you know, they, they had heard bad things like, oh, no, these guys could be troublemakers. Yeah. The Andersonite cult is truly the gift that keeps on giving. There's a reason why they're booted out of traditional Baptist churches, because they're basically troublemakers and everywhere they go. They cause problems, they split the churches, they basically just bring in all these false doctrines and heresies, they steal sheep and send them over to Phoenix, Arizona, and then they're complaining why they get kicked out. Well, when you have 900 pastors contacting Anderson's sending pastor, Stephen Nichols, with concerns about Anderson, that's why. When you have just Baptist churches all over America having problems with Andersonites, to the point where some of them are like basically split in half, their members are being stolen. Yeah, you know, I've covered that extensively on my channel, you know. But they just think, oh, we're being persecuted because they're afraid of us. They're afraid of, of, of our sound doctrine. No, they're booting you out because you're basically just bringing in heresy and false doctrines and overall just being a bunch of troublemakers. So, anyway, don't be deceived by the Stephen Anderson new IFB cult. Goodbye. Thank you.